Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Back at mom's. Uh, she's probably transferring to a different rehab facility on Saturday. So I'm gonna be here through the long weekend so you'll probably see a, a few videos shot here from her yard or from her living room depending on what time of day. Today's topic is gonna be, if you retreat, dot, 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 and I'll finish that part in a minute. It's a beautiful fall day, sitting out here on the patio. Give you a look, you know, just a little patio, but look up top. That's that pergola I showed you guys the other day. Let's take a couple of nice breaths. I'm getting some fresh air. I was either at home this morning or the rehab facility today, so it's nice. Nice to get outside, get a little fresh air. All right. So the topic, if you retreat every time you feel a new sensation, you notice your old one, the old one goes up, your brain will be convinced that something bad is happening. In other words, as I always say, it's your response to the symptoms that matters most. If you want your brain to be convinced that everything's okay, don't go running for the couch or the bed or for the bottle of pills or for comfort or laying on the floor or the rolling, you know, the, the foam rollers or any of that stuff. If you retreat every time your symptoms get your attention, your brain will have no choice but to perceive something bad is going on because you're always running away. Okay, so it's really, really important to start building some resilience. The ability to carry on, and I'm not saying when the pain is at its utmost, the worst it's ever been, but for moderate days, even moderate to heavy days, um, to build some resilience is how you're gonna start changing the internal understanding of whether or not something bad is going on or whether or not this is all just the brain perceiving danger. You know, it's not that complicated to understand that the brain is following your lead. And if your lead is to panic and run for comfort every time you notice your sensations or symptoms or pains, run for comfort every time a new sem sensation comes up instead of going, ah, come on brain, TMS, perceived danger, not concerned with that, I'm not gonna fall for it. Yeah, I know you just made my calf hurt, but I didn't do anything to my calf. I was just sitting here on the couch or I was just taking a walk or whatever. There's no reason I injured myself. Um, so if you notice a new symptom, if your present symptoms get your attention, they're a little bit colorful. If you're always retreating, the message you're conveying to the brain is that something bad is going on, which is confirming perceived danger. And with fear and attention, generally these things continue. So what's your best response? Notice it, because you're going to. I have never, ever, ever said in my videos, 1,200 and, I don't know, 95 of them, getting close to 1,300, I have never said, ignore your pain. It's impossible. You can't ignore your pain. You can't ignore your symptoms. If you're nauseous, if you're dizzy, if your jaw hurts, if you've got, you know, a migraine or a headache, you can't ignore it. You will notice it. But it's what you do next that matters. How do you respond? If you're always retreating from it and rushing for some type of cure slash comfort, your brain has no choice but to think something bad is going on. And the goal of everything I've been uh, encouraging you folks to do is to teach your brain that nothing bad is going on. So it comes from accurate knowledge, understanding how this system called the human body works, understanding that this perceived danger response is the only thing causing your symptoms. And with that foundation, 
then you can begin reassuring yourself that you're actually okay. Now look, we experience things emotionally, physically, mentally, so it stands to reason that if we can feel safer emotionally, physically, and mentally, that's going to go a long way towards dialing down the intensity of the whole system. So my recommendations are simple. When you become aware that your emotional state is becoming elevated a little bit, feel your emotions without judgment so that they will release. It actually feels good to feel our emotions. They'll release and it also teaches the brain that emotions are safe and do not require symptoms to escalate or come about to protect us from these emotions that the brain previously thought was dangerous. The second step is physical. Well, notice your physical state. If you're tight and tense, learn to notice that and relax your body. so that you can breathe comfortably. Because when you're in that state, a relaxed body, calmly breathing, your brain will have no choice but to perceive that things are okay. Remember, if you're constantly retreating from symptoms, your brain will have no choice but to perceive that something bad is going on. So if you're in a relaxed body, comfortably breathing, and you're not running from symptoms all the time, um, the brain will have no choice but to perceive that you're actually okay. And the last thing is your thinking, and I've been talking about that. Yesterday's video was all about showing indifference to your own thinking. Like, I don't have to believe my thoughts. I don't have to buy into them. I don't have to ruminate on them. I certainly don't have to act on them. And so I'll refer you to yesterday's video on that. But bottom line is, notice your mental state. And if it's spinning on the fearful thoughts, you can literally go, shh, not thinking about that. And then shift your attention back to engaging in life, living your life, doing something fun, productive, important, right? Because sitting on the couch dreading and thinking about your symptoms and, you know, worrying that they'll never go away is not productive or important. As a matter of fact, it's counterproductive. So if you're always retreating, if you're always retreating, man, my phone's blown up. Uh, if you're always retreating from your symptoms, your brain has no choice but to perceive that something bad's going on. So next time you notice it and the natural inclination is run, get to the couch, get to the pill bottle, get to the, you know, bed, whatever. Pause and say, is it really that bad? Or can I kind of shoulder on and I don't mean push through it because if it's super high, sometimes the next best step is getting comfortable. But if you're going to continue carrying on, do it with a positive expectation that I'm not going to harm myself. And if the brain starts to escalate things because you are continuing to live your life, that is when you have another opportunity to show and teach your brain something new by saying, hey brain, I know I just noticed the sensations. My typical response is running and hiding and laying down or doing whatever, but I'm not gonna do it today because I know with certainty everything's cool. I'm okay, so brain, you can settle down. We're good, I got this. And with practice and repetition, you may start to notice your ability to influence positively the sensations or symptoms. May not happen the first time, may not happen the first 10 times, but keep at it because this is the way forward. Um, don't be disappointed if you push on a little bit and you continue engaging in the world and, and living your life and the brain kind of puts up a little argument like, hey, 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 what are you doing? It's understandable because the job of the brain is to perceive danger and warn us with sensations or symptoms or pains. So when you keep this all in mind, it is so much easier to respond calmly, reassuring yourself, ideally indifference. And so I hope all this stuff makes sense. Um, I don't know. If all you do is retreat when you notice the symptoms, your brain's gonna perceive something bad's going on. See if you can start to shift your natural response from retreating to diffusing, dismissing. Eh, brain, it's not a big deal. You know what's going on, you know? 
see how that goes. Try it. Keep me posted. Let me know. Comment. And uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. Love you guys and gals, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.